hello 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 guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you so much for joining this youtube family and if you're a returning viewer guys thank you so much all of you guys are my besties it's just that you don't know it yet you don't know it yet and let me warn you i'm in a farm so when you hear the chickens crawling don't worry don't worry and yeah so guys today i wanted to talk about procrastination guys i've been struggling with procrastination for a while and yeah like procrastination honestly i will term it as a disease because once you start procrastinating stuff you just never do it things that you would have done like five years ago you're still struggling with them right now i know i am a witness i don't know about you but i know i am and sometimes i'm not proud i'm not proud of myself honestly i'm not proud because the level of stuff that i've procrastinated over the years i believe have costed me in such a big way a very very big way and there's nothing as terrifying and nothing as bad yeah i told you don't worry about the chicken and all that we're in the farm so gotta deal with it so anyway back to procrastination so procrastinating has costed a lot of people it's so so unfortunate that we blame people we blame staff and sometimes the problem is that and procrastinating on stuff things that you'll have done five years ago ten years ago you are still struggling with them you're like oh my god why is my life so you know and yeah but there's nothing you can do about it because at the end of the day you're the one who put those predicaments onto yourself so how do you guys deal with procrastination actually i'm a victim yes i am a victim of procrastination and i'm not proud of myself because sometimes i do goals when you see me taking milk don't worry i'm trying to heal through milk and don't worry this milk is nice so what was i saying like procrastination costs you a lot it costs you a lot you know sometimes you usually say you'd rather have little progress but no progress at all because you see when you work on yourself when you work on things that you purpose to yourself to work on there's progress in your life like those small progress usually compound to bring greater stuff and bring bigger progress and, and you doing greater milestones but once you procrastinate on stuff you end up even being depressed because things that you should have accomplished like two years ago three years ago it's like there's nothing moving and you know when there's nothing moving you just get frustrated with life you get frustrated with stuff and frustration is one thing that oh my god dealing with frustrations it's it's just another whole mood you all know that it's just another whole mood you'll be angry with everybody everything just irritates you you know that kind of thing so yeah i just want to know you guys how do you deal with procrastination personally for me i have been trying to deal with procrastination like you see when the time i don't want to do stuff i force myself to do it and you know when you start something sometimes you just have the nudge to finish it because i'm the kind of person when i start something i don't i don't like leaving it hanging especially if it's something that it's dear to me i don't like seeing it hanging i have to make sure i do something about it every day and yeah so one of the things that for me has worked to deal with procrastination is setting simple goals like i don't have a lot of goals at the same time like one goal at a time where you live one day at a time and doing something one thing at a time because sometimes we have a lot of goals that we want to accomplish and you're so overwhelmed with like 20 goals 30 goals 10 goals like even accomplishing one has been a problem so i this is what i do i have that one goal that is so dear to me and so important to me and i try work on that one once i accomplish it i take another one that has helped me and i've seen a little bit of progress not much but a little bit of progress than the person i was a while back and yeah it has helped me so that's my strategy that's my strategy anyway so i you write down a list of 
goals that are important to you then have one particular goal that is really really important and you really really have to do it at that moment so even if it will take you three months four months six months to accomplish it at least you have accomplished one goal in that year or even two goals in that year and yeah I've seen it work and also the let me give you another secret I do so when I accomplished that goal I have the video I posted earlier this year of the stuff that I got for my new year so I had that Thanksgiving job so when I accomplish a goal because definitely for me as a Christian whenever I do stuff I involve God definitely have to involve God in everything that I do so when I set those goals I ensure the foundation is in Christ and all that so when I accomplish it and it's successful and I've also kick-started it I have those colored papers or sticky notes in the jar and I do a Thanksgiving note like thank you I'm thankful for starting this I'm thankful for finishing this and it has really really helped me because let me tell you the truth gratitude makes you do a lot of stuff gratitude makes you progress a lot so yeah that's one of those are some of the things that I've done to fight procrastination in my life I don't know what you guys do I would love to hear what you guys do to fight procrastination yes so yeah that's me that's why I fight procrastination like having a goal one goal at a time doing one thing at a time and then once i start it and i finish it i'm always thankful when i commence and i'm always thankful when i finish the when the goal is accomplished so yeah i thank my god because at the end of the day it's god who gives me the capabilities and the powers to do it yeah it is god i know this video has a lot of noise but don't worry anyway, guys kindly Kindly, I would love to know how you deal with procrastination because I would love to know and I'll get another strategy you know yeah because anyway this year let's purpose to do what we mean to do like this year let us purpose to change how we do stuff let's avoid procrastination because honestly procrastination is killing a lot of people it's killing a lot of people like things you would have done in your 20s you're doing them in your 30s in your 40s things that you would have done in your teenage you're doing them in your 20s like you you're way far behind than your age and your peers just because of procrastinating so yeah let us deal with procrastination because man procrastination ain't good i can't believe the things that i should have been doing in my 20s i'm doing them in my 40s no God forbid, God forbid, I wouldn't want that, even for my enemy, I wouldn't want that, like, progress is good, even the little, minute progress is actually very, very good, and, you know, when you procrastinate, there will never be any progress, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video, till next time, guys, I love you so much. next time bye bye i love you so much peace things that i can't let go watch me turn this life into something that you could never run i feel this pain you already know turn that to games let my money show